Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. Okay, today's workout is gonna be a no repeat, but high volume workout. So we're gonna keep the weights slightly lighter. I'm still gonna challenge myself as best that I can, but each exercise is gonna be done for 25 reps. So higher volume, teaching the muscles endurance. Grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. That's all you'll need. And I'll start you with a warm up, and we'll end with a cool down. Again, the format is rep range. So 25 reps of everything. You can switch when I switch or pause the video and finish out your own set. All right, are you ready to move daily in this strength workout? Me too, let's do it. All right, we'll warm things up here. I'm just hitting strength on my watch. Let's start with some front and back bends. We'll warm everything up. A nice little total body workout today. Just a little bit of everything. Well, a lot of volume on that one muscle group, which is gonna be nice. I, I like switching it up like that from time to time. As long as you challenge the system, you're gonna get a good muscle building workout, right? Uh, that's the key though, is to push the muscle until you're reaching toward that fatigue le level. So that'll be different for you than it is for me. And when you're only doing one set, it's kind of hard to figure out where you're gonna be on that one. But you could certainly, you know, mark down your weight amounts or remember them and then try this workout again next week or, uh, you know, next month or what have you and just test yourself to see if you're getting stronger and challenge yourself to go even heavier as you move through it. So anyway, I kind of know what I lift in general. Stay wide, tap your toes. So I'm gonna try to challenge, but stay within a range for 25 reps. So yeah, <laughs> it can be challenging, but it'll be a good workout, I promise. One more here. Good, and some hip openers. Switch directions. And step and press right here. And overhead reach. Out to the side. Good, and some heel digs right here. Alternate sides. Last one here, and torso turn. Very good. Okay, there are the first four exercises, the first 100 reps. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, 25 reps. I'm gonna start with a suitcase squat deadlift. I used to call it the Monica, if you're familiar. Start with feet shoulder width apart. Here we go, we're gonna squat low. Hips go up and we stand. That's one. There's 10, keep going.
Here's 20, I've got five more now. Last here. Nice, moving down for my push up from the knees to modify. Otherwise the toes, you've got 25. Knock them out. There's 10. Fifteen. Twenty. And twenty-five. Woo! Back to my fifteens. Twenty-five front lunges. We're gonna do twenty-five in total here. Make sure you're not dizzy. Nice and tall. Alternate sides. That's 10. There's 20. And 25. Moving into my Arnold press. I'm gonna use 12s. Whew, see, heart rate up already. Okay, break as you need. Press the ceiling, bring it back in front of the mouth. There's 10. And 25 into my goblet squat. All right, I'm gonna grab a 25. 25 pounds for 25 reps. Drop as low as you can with good form. Stay tall. Twenty. Twenty-five. Wowza. Holding fifteens for my bent over row. All right, I'll probably stretch my back at the ten uh, rep interval mark. 
just to get the lower back stretched. Otherwise, hinge at the waist, palms are facing, and retract those shoulder blades. There's 10, a little stretch or keep going. There's 25 more. There it is, holding 115. I'm gonna do a side lunge, twist high knee. All right, and we'll do 12 per side here. Here we go, low, one. Reach your hips back. One more here, switch sides. There's 10, I'm gonna do three more. I have to make it 25. <laughs> if you wanna keep it even, you can. Last for me. There. Nice, okay. Quick water sip before heading to the ground. I'm gonna take my 15s down there. Chest press, I'm gonna add a leg lift. You could stick to the chest press if this hurts your back. 25 in total. Ready, here we go. One, slow and controlled, two. There's 10, keep it going. There's 20, five more for me. Last for me, stay down here. All right, hitting that crab, toe touch. If you don't wanna use your wrists, you could just come up and tap here. Otherwise, 25, hands behind. Push and tap, lay back down. Other side, and tap. That's two, up, and three. There's 10.
There's 20. Five more. Last here. Staying down here for my tricep press glute bridge. I'm holding 15s, palms facing. Everything is up, everything is down. Straight up and down with that press. Here we go. Up and down to the ground. Two and three. Hips go up. Five. There's 10. There's 20, five more here. Up for your front squat. 25 front squats. I'm gonna use the 215s, making that 30. You could use one 30 pound. Okay, make sure I'm not dizzy. Rack it in the front. We're thinking about quads, so you're gonna flex those quads at the top. Drop it low. Flex. There's twenty. That was challenging. Taking my eight pound dumbbells for the front lateral combo. Okay. One in front, one to the side. 25 lifts in total. Shoulders back, knees are soft, core engaged. So you're one, switch, two, three. And stick your chest out. And twenty five more here. Twenty-five, very good. Grabbing 15s again for my reverse lunges. I'm alternating. Stay tall, 25 in total. Shoulders back. Ten. 
then 20. There we go. I'm gonna grab a quick sip before my pinwheels. Twenty-five pinwheel curls. I'm holding fifteens. Alternating. Knees are soft. Curl one and two. Torso stays facing the front. There's ten. And 25, hoisting those dumbbells on my shoulders for the tiptoe squat, 12 and 13, or do 13 and 13 or 12 and 12, I don't care. Drop it low, reach your hips, and one. Switching. There's ten. 11, 12, one more for me. Holding those 15s for my wide row. Hinging in the waist, core engaged, pull it to 90 on the elbow, flat back, up for one, two, don't swing at the bottom. And I'm stretching my back. There's 20. I'm going to do another stretch. One's harder on my back. Last five here. Nice, into deadlifts. I'm gonna hold my 20s here. All right, slow on the descent. Pop the hips to move the weight up. Knees are soft. And we hinge, two, three, and up.
Five more for me. Last here. Okay, yikes. I'm gonna hold the 20 for my skull crusher. I'm just gonna grab a quick sip. Go ahead if you can. I'll definitely need to rest. I'm gonna go for it with the heavier weight here. Knees are soft, elbows close to the ears. 25. There's 10. Fifteen, just a little break. Ten more for me. Oh, burn. Okay, just a little water break here. Shake it out. We're gonna go back down to the ground. All right, I brought my 12s down here, but let's start with 25 bicycles per side, 50 in total. Elbow to knee, here we go. So you're one, two, three, There's 10, go my pace. Two, three, four. And 20. And 30. There's 40, last 10, nine. And there you go, grabbing my 12s. For that tricep extension with a flutter kick, 25 extensions. Eliminate the flutter if this hurts your back. Here we go for one and two, three. There's 10. Fifteen. There's 25 more for me, I'm slowing down. And five, four, mm, come on. Last year. There we go. All right, that was definitely toward failure. Glute leg lift. You can do it in a modified position here, otherwise we're gonna come up with the glute off the ground. You've got 25 per leg. So you lift the foot to the hand, touch the glute on the bottom. There's three, four, there's 10, keep it going on this side. There's 25 more here. Oh, 
All right, switching sides. That was hard for some reason. Okay, here we go. 25 on this side. There's 10. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Wow. I'm just standing into that bicep curl. I'm gonna hold twelves for twenty-five reps. Palms face up, elbows are in, 25 reps right here. Down for your plank walkout. 25 in total here. Shake those arms out for a sec. Okay, quick sip. Plank position, bum is down. We walk for one and back, two and back, three. That's it. Mod from the knees. here folks stay with me in four three two one and done you have moved daily in your 25 rep no repeat higher volume workout I feel a little shaky definitely sweaty and no cardio in sight nice work all right bring the heart rate down slightly do some of those physiological side. Double inhale through the nose, slow exhale four or five times, and then join on the ground for a stretch. Phew. <laughs> Very good. Let's take it down here. Okay, on your back, we'll start with the hamstring stretch. Flex the foot, draw toward you. <sighs> that was good. I mean, I love rep range. It's my favorite format, just because I take what rest I feel like I need, and then I just kind of can keep going, which is why I think the heart rate stays up nicely. Switch sides. Uh, and for me, that helps improve my cardiovascular system, right? So that's important for me. I want to keep that in prime condition as I age, for sure. Uh, you know what's funny? There was a post on my personal Facebook page, feet on the ground, knees over to the side, that someone must have been searching 
through the files for years because it was posted in 2019, but then someone made a comment on it and then the algorithm punched it to the top of my page. And then all of a sudden everyone's commenting, I think thinking that it's a new post, but it wasn't, it was like four years ago. Anyway, in the post, I introduce myself and just say, Hey, my name's Tracy. This is how I got into this business. Basically I was new that I was meant to be in a position like this. I could feel it in my bones somehow, you know, and, but then we had kids and I felt so obliged, not obliged. I wanted to, I didn't want anyone else to take care of them, I guess, but I felt like I had to stay home with them and not do the things that I wanted to do. At least that was sort of the excuse that I made that I couldn't do both. And so during the birth of my third child, which happened a week before my husband's vasectomy. So we were not planning that, but the good old pull-up method isn't as trusty as, it, <laughs> as you think. So anyway, that's probably TMI, sorry. Uh, but anyway, so we had the third child and then while I was pregnant with her, I found lumps in my breast and stuff, which, you know, in Canada, you have to wait for six weeks to find results from stuff like that, which is so stressful. But you're, you're stressed in that time, right? And so I was waiting to see what the results were. Let's come to the side and thinking I was going to die, like literally got myself into quite a tether thinking I have breast cancer. That's it. I've never done anything in my life that I wanted to do. This really sucks. And then, but I made a vow to myself that if, if it was nothing that I was definitely going to take advantage of my life. And even with three children in tow, I was going to make the best of who I could be. So anyway, results were just benign mass. And the next day I literally organized a workshop or a retreat, hired myself as the main speaker and uh, started off. So that was kind of my first like kick at the can, I guess. And it was just a real good realization to me that you need to start today to do the things that let you up. I went to our therapist once and that was one of the things he said to me. It was right after a year after COVID started. And he said to me, um, when's the last time you felt alive? And I thought to myself, well, when I was speaking, I had been doing workshops and traveling and doing speaking and leading big groups. And I hadn't done that during that year of the lockdown. And so he said, whatever that is, you need to do more of that. And so then I started the membership and then I started teaching and then I'm like, okay, I've just got to hire myself. <laughs> I've got to pick myself and create my own community to speak to because no one was knocking at my door saying, Hey, could you speak? And could you do this thing and lead this group? And I was waiting for that though. You know, I wanted people just to recognize what I could do and then come and find me, but that wasn't happening. And so I just went, I'm going to create this myself as an opportunity for me. And it started really small and some members like Kelly and Becky have been with me for like five years. Stephanie and Jen for three or four years. Like it's been a long time for a lot of the, the members there, but it started really small with just a handful of people and they just kept listening <laughs> and then it kept growing, which was amazing. But the main theme is that you gotta, you've got to do the things that make you feel alive and you've got to do them today because we are not guaranteed tomorrow. And we all know that, but sometimes I think we just need a reminder and sometimes we need a wake up call. And that's the thing that lights the fire. And that is good because the world needs you and the world needs what you have to offer. So go offer it, find whatever it is that lights you up and do that this week. All right. Thanks for joining. That was fun and sweaty. I'll see you in the next workout.